If there's one thing that unites the students I met on Aleppo University campus, it's the desire to leave Syria and forge a new life in a new country. 24-year-old medical graduate Zuzan Mamo dreams of making a great scientific discovery. 19-year-old Ahmed Suka is going to Boston in two weeks' time to study economics. How has the war affected your life and your family's life? What has changed? Actually, I lost my home. I lost uh, the place the place I was uh, living since I was uh, a child. Uh, I felt uh, homeless. I felt uh, hopeless. And I lost uh, the feeling of safety. I lose my home too. And I lose many of my friends. They died. They did. And the life is here very bad. Every time yeah, when you sleep, you hear the bomb and the, the airplane, and I don't. Every yeah, every time, you don't feel, and, and you live a life, nice life. Every time you're scared. But although he's looking forward to leaving, Ahmed worries what Americans will say when he tells them he's Syrian. I will not lie for them, and you know everything in television, you see, and and everything is true. But. I will do, and I will say to him, just and God will save us. Maybe uh, the whole world uh, took a, a bad idea about us, about uh, Islam, about everything. Maybe when they uh, hear that this person is Syrian, they feel, uh, oh, uh, he must be a terrorist or something. And I feel maybe I have to be someone else, yeah. <laughs> better than being a Syrian. Zuzan and her family were forced to flee the town of Afrin when Islamic State militants arrived in March. They were saying, uh, why do you travel like this? Uh, you mustn't uh, go out like this. You must uh, wear uh, black from your head uh, to your... Uh, ah, you must cover. So yeah. when you were there, did you see those people from Islamic State? Yeah, we saw them. They were... Uh, I don't know, it's uh, the first time I see such uh, faces. I felt that... Uh, they mustn't be from this country. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're from Afghanistan or... Because even when they were talking, they were talking in, uh, uh, in an accent that uh, it's not like the, the people... So it's Arabic, but not with a Syrian accent. Yeah. What did they say to you? Uh, actually, they, could, they wouldn't uh, talk to a woman because they were saying it's not uh, allowed to talk, mm. uh, to, talk uh, to a woman because it's uh, banned in Islam. Yes. So they were saying even if a woman went and talked to them, they uh, turned their faces and say go out. Your experiences, how have they changed you as a, as a person? They changed my life. They changed my dream to study here. They changed my 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 family. Before uh, the start of those events, I felt that uh, I'm still uh, a child in my uh, mm. opinions, in in everything, in my thoughts. It's not uh, a good life to live uh, this and uh, those hardships. But I felt that. Uh, Although those were very hard and very difficult uh, to be through, mm. but uh, they made me what I am now.